The roll necks are out. Autumn is here. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another haul for you and today's haul is an exciting one because today's haul is a car boot sale haul, one of my favourite kinds of hauls to do and this one is from the car boot sale I went to last Sunday two ago I think it was, um, with Kate McCabe and we went to the Hook Arena car boot sale in Epsom, Surrey. It was a really good one, it was a big one, um, yes, and we had a lot of fun. We had a very fun day together, um, just poodling about, poodling about the car boot sale and um, having a catch up because it was the first time that we've met. In case you don't know Kate already, I will link her channel down below. She loves um, car boot sales as much as I do and her haul um, will be down below as well. So you can go and have a watch of hers when you finish watching this one and please hit subscribe while you're over there. And before we get going here, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new here. I'm posting new videos every single week and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Um, also, before we get going, I just wanted to quickly show you this month's edition of Molly Makes magazine, which I think is still in the shops because I've done a little upcycle project for them. So in this magazine, I'm showing you how to create one of these mirrors. You could do that one or that one or both of them. And everything that I got to make those with is from Poundland. So um, yeah, if you want to have a go at that, it's in this month's uh, Molly Makes magazine. So this is um, issue number 97. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's still in the stores if you want to have a look and yeah, it's got all the step-by-step -step instructions there as well. So I just wanted to share that with you because this is the first time that um, I've been in a magazine from um, Mr. Carrington. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all in case um, you fancied having a look and maybe having a go at it. And if you do try it out, please do tag me in your pictures. I'd love to see how you get on with it. Right, let's get cracking with the haul. What I thought I'd do with this one for a bit of fun, is I won't say the price immediately, so while I'm showing you the thing, you can guess, you can have a little guess, and you can say, I would have paid mm -mm -mm for that, and then I'll tell you what the price was, um, and you can see if you would have paid more or less, or what you would have offered, or yeah. Feel free to do that, you don't have to. Um, I can just show you everything that I picked up. <laughs> um, I was gonna put it all in order, but I don't think it is, so we'll just go random. Hopefully I'll be able to remember all of the prices correctly. If I don't, I would imagine Kate can remember, and she'll probably correct me in the comments down below. Okay, so um, this is one of my favorite things that I picked up. This is a woven basket, so it's got the, um, kind of hessian and then the rope going through it as well as a couple of handles on it so it's quite big i thought this would be good for storing toilet rolls in or something similar in the bathroom and you could also put a plant in this i think and it would look quite nice and this was one pound i can't remember if i haggled for that i probably did i think they wanted two pounds and i offered one pound for that one um i think that's correct I hope so. Um, yeah, but I thought that was really nice. Um, so yeah, that was that. And I got another basket. I have got a bit of a basket obsession. So this one had all bits and pieces in it. You know when people put all their random belts and toy cars and stuff in there to sell. So I wasn't sure if this was for sale, but I quite liked the look of it. I think he said he wanted three pounds for this, and I asked, would you take a pound, I think? And he said two pounds. And then I just looked at it for a bit because it had this bit all kind of peeled away. So I just kind of went, and then he said one pound. So we got it for a pound. We'll put a plant in that. So I thought it was quite good. It's kind of got a metal um, skeleton. So it's nice and sturdy. Um, so nice and solid. And yeah, I thought it'd be great to put um, quite a big plant in that. Um, yeah, I think this rattan is very kind of on trend interior wise at the moment, isn't it? So um, yeah, that will look cool somewhere in the home. What would you have paid for that one? Did you guess? I've never picked up fruit and veg at car boot sale before, but at this one, it had a fruit and veg stand and it also had another stall where a lady had a few things that she'd grown in her garden. She had a huge marrow and a big butternut squash and she also had this bad boy. So this pumpkin was, what would you have paid? I nearly said it then, <laughs> I'll give you a chance to guess. So this pumpkin was 50p, I didn't haggle for that, I thought 50p is a brilliant price for this cool pumpkin that I'm going to be using probably for Halloween. So um, yeah, I just thought it'd be good for a nice um, piece of decor around the house. 
Um, so yeah, 50p for that. And also there was the marrow and the butternut squash. I think she wanted 50p for those. I mean, they were massive, but I just wasn't able to carry any more. Me and Kate were absolutely laden in bags and we were trying to do the vlogging at the same time. So we were both like, you know, bags and camera and it was tricky. We had to go back to the car. I think it was two times. Yeah, we did get a lot. <laughs> we both did really well. Um, I'd also like you to guess, um, who do you think spent more? Do you think it was me or Kate? Um, pop that in the comments down below, but you might have watched Kate's already. But you don't know how much I've spent yet, so you can still play. Yeah, do it. Put a comment. Pause the video and put a comment down there and say who you think spent more, me or Kate. When we first got there, we stumbled across a stall that was selling lots of new things. I think they might have all been seconds, um, because on closer inspection, the things that I've picked up are slightly damaged, but nothing um, too bad. So this is the first thing that I got. I'm really pleased with this. They had a few of these. Um, so this is a plant pot and it's by Gisela Graham London. So this is a really nice brand. You see these um, pieces of homeware in lots of little homeware boutique shops around London. I'm not sure if you get them in the rest of the UK or not. Um, let me know. But I thought this was such a nice design. It's kind of like, is it like dandelions when they go like a clock where you can blow on it? Kind of reminds me of that. Um, but yeah, really cool pattern. I think, as I say, that this is a second. Now, where was it? Yes, because it's got a couple of chips underneath. But the thing is, you can't see them, so not to worry. So what would you have paid for this one? This was two pounds, which I thought was pretty good going. I can't remember if he said three, or whether it was just two and I thought that was good enough. He wouldn't go any lower than two, I know that. And on the same stool, I also picked up this glass jar. So I really liked the cut glass design on this one. It's kind of a bit like a feather going all the way around it. And again, it's gone a bit wibbly wobbly. I don't know if that's intentional or whether this one is a second, but I just thought that was so cool. And this one was, what would you have paid? One pound, which, yeah, I thought was pretty good going. This again is by um, Gisella Graham. Um, and I thought this would look quite nice with maybe just a few um, pieces of eucalyptus in it and pop it on the mantelpiece. Or you could pop a cork in this and you could use it as a little decanter for a drink. And the last thing that I picked up on this stand was this sign. So this says, wishing you a Merry Christmas and it's got a robin on it. It's made out of, what is it made out of? Oh, I thought it was tin. It's wood, I think. Um, yeah, and it's been nicely painted and there's some glitter on there. Again, that's by Gisela Graham. And he wanted, what would you have paid? He wanted one pound for these and Kate said, can we have one each uh, for 50p? And he said, yes, so those were 50p. So I thought that was really good. So I'll be able to hang that on the door um, at Christmas time. I picked up some shower gel, just a small travel miniature by Soap and Glory. I always pick up this stuff when I'm at the airport, when they do the um, three for two or the four for three on the miniatures in boots. It's called Clean On Me Creamy Moisture Shower Gel Creme. And yeah, just smells really good. And that was 50p. Now I know we were joking that myself and Kate might be scrapping over certain items at the car boot sale, but we were actually quite good. There wasn't many things that we both really wanted. Um, I did see her pick up a candle that I would have quite liked, um, but then <laughs> I started walking a bit ahead of her and I was getting like first brows at some of the stands and then this happened, which um, yeah, I thought it was such a really nice cushion, brand new by Gallery Home and it's just really cool. It looks like it's been painted, kind of like uh, brush strokes across it in these really nice blues. And yeah, just a really nice colour scheme. I think it'll look really cool in the lounge here. And this is one that Kate wanted. It's stuffed with feathers as well, so it's a really good quality one. Um, but I think that was pretty much the only item that I think we both kind of were keen on. Um, but I got it, ha ha. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I was there first, it was all fair. And um, yes, so this was, let me think, I think I paid one pound for this, or did I pay two pounds? I think it was one pound, um, which I think is really good. And yeah, for a brand new cushion, with a luxury feather filled filling, filling filled, in distressed mineral print, I thought that was really good. So yeah, so I got that. And then another cushion caught my eye at a different stall, and the lady, when I asked her how much it was, she was like, 
I, sh I won't tell you the price, you guess. But she was like, please take it. I've been waiting for someone to buy this cushion all day. It's such a good cushion. How about this? I mean, I absolutely love this cushion. I can remember seeing this in Primark at the time when it was out. And I don't know why I didn't buy it because I really do like it. And I love the back as well, that's navy blue. And then it's got this piping around the edge. Piping, is that the word? I feel like I just made that up, but let's just go with that. Is it piping? <laughs> that's what you do with icing, but let's just call it piping, if that's the word. Um, yeah, in kind of this faux leather that looks kind of cool in the 60s, and then it's got this really nice um, palm tree design on it. Um, yeah, kind of retro, but really cool. And how much do you reckon? 50p. Um, and no need to haggle on that one, she just wanted 50p for it, so I snapped that one up. And that's going to look nice here as well, I think. Go with all of the uh, backdrops, we leave that one in. Yeah, I can stay. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> Let's put it there. This is a heavy bag, and this is full of casters. I think I've got a bit of a caster obsession. Um, so I did buy some casters previously at a car boot sale, and I did use them on the roof terrace to create the storage bench on wheels so I could wheel it out really easily. But these casters, I thought, looked like really cool, retro, old school ones. They are by, they're made in England by Archibald, Ken, Rick and Sons. So maybe you've heard of them, but this is them. So they're kind of good quality. So this one's got the flat top, so I could screw those onto a piece of furniture. So I managed to get one, two, three, four different sets in different designs. So I'll just show you, you might want to skip past this if you're not into casters, but if you like casters, then you're going to like this. These ones, which are a bit smaller, but again, really nice quality. So these just push in. Then I got these ones, which again, I think look really, really cool and could go on something. And then I got four of this kind, which is similar to the first one I showed you, but it's got this corner bracket. So you could put this on the corner of a piece of furniture and it would give you that nice metal edge as well. So yeah, I thought they were really, really cool um, and great for some of my upcycle projects. If I get any piece of furniture or any little cabinets that I want to just pop on some wheels, you know, even like a small wooden crate, you could put that onto some wheels like this and immediately it would become like a cool little thing that you just wheel under the bed or somewhere. So yeah, really happy with those. And how much do you reckon? So he wanted for the whole bag, one pound. So I didn't haggle with that because I thought that was really, really good. The next thing I picked up was these metal trays. So I thought these looked really cool in this green colour. I'm not going to paint them because I like the colour that they are already. I quite like the way they're distressed along the side. I think it looks really cool. There's one slightly larger one. And then this one has got like a letter tray edge. So it's got the dip at the front. And then this one again is just the uh, tray shape. So loads of different uses for these. Obviously I could put paper in them to store paper for the printer. I also thought it'd be quite nice to store plant pots in just so the plant pots could sit within a container. Um, loads of different things you could do with these and yeah, I couldn't resist them. So how much do you reckon? Well, they wanted one pound each for these. So I offered them, I said, would you take 50p for them? And then they said, yeah, 50p each. And then Kate said, ask them if they'll do all three for a pound. <laughs> so I was, I was a bit cheeky. And I said, um, okay, 50p each. So uh, what's that, one pound 50? Would you take three for a pound? And they were like, go on then. I mean, it is fun to haggle at the car boot sale. You might as well have a little go if you're feeling brave um, because people do seem to be quite happy to do it and they do want to shift all of their stuff. So yeah, um, don't be afraid to have a little go at haggling at the car boot sale if you want to because it's, um, it's quite funny. <laughs> and you remember um, things and you get a good bargain that way. Okay, talking of haggling, um, this is the item that I picked up. So it's this nice plant pot with this nice design on it. So I really like that. Yes, so this one was 50p and um, yeah, it was kind of lumped in between some larger ones and some smaller ones. And I asked how much for the plant pots and they said larger ones, one pound, smaller ones, 50p. So I sort of went, what, so all of these, including this one are 50p? And they're like, yeah. I was like, right, I'll have that then. If you watch Kate's haul, you will have seen that she picked up a little glass container full of cards that we were both kind of humming and hawing over. Um, and then Kate uh, managed to get the whole lot, I think for £2 or £2.50. I think £2.50 in the end. Maybe £2. 
I think it was two pounds in the end. Um, but it had lots of different cards in it and she let me choose a couple. So I picked out uh, this one. This one is probably the biggest contradiction for my channel ever. It says collect moments, not things. Which, yeah, I mean, I do buy a lot of stuff. Having said that, I do like to collect moments. I love to travel, I love to have days out, I love to do exciting new things. So although I do buy a lot of stuff, that's partly the reason why I buy a lot of secondhand things, is so that I've got more cash for moments. So um, yeah, so I really like that one, despite you all probably thinking that I'm a massive hypocrite. Um, I'm gonna stick that somewhere. And then this one, you won't be able to argue with because this is accurate with pretty much everything that I do. It says, I have no idea what I'm doing. And yeah, that relates to uh, most of my career, life, everything, YouTube. Um, but I think the best thing to do is just to get on with things and hope for the best. So I really like that quote as well. And I like the colorful lettering as well. Um, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but let's just do it anyway. <laughs> this is a crochet cactus and it not only has been crocheted in the body of it and it's got the flower but I looked inside and there's even crocheted soil in there so the detail is very very impressive I mean crocheting soil takes some kind of dedication I think and um, when it's inside the pot so that was really cool and it comes in this little white pot and um, Kate was like, oh, look, cactus, it's for you, it's cactus. And uh, she doesn't talk like that, but well, she does talk like that sometimes. Um, so she was pointing at the cactus, um, going, Mr. Carrington, cactus. And I said, oh yeah, I should get that. Um, it would be good for the, um, for the thing here. And I thought, well, I don't want to like buy loads more plants that aren't plants, because I've got so many plants already. But then um, I asked how much for it. What do you reckon? 20p or 30p, I can't remember which. I think it was 20p, um, so obviously I had to have it. So we'll pop um, the cactus there. Kind of fits in, doesn't it? We were joking, if you want to get a good deal at the car boot sale, you just need to ask the stall holder what something is. So you just hold the item and just go, excuse me, what's this? And it kind of just makes them um, question what the item is and then sell it you cheaper, I think. Um, it's just a silly little game that we were playing as we were going around. So I'd be holding up things going, excuse me, what's this? And they'd be like, um, oh, I think that's a mug. I can say, you go, how much for it? And I go, um, 50p. And I think it's just because you kind of, <laughs> you've reduced the um, item's worth by questioning what it is, um, which is a bit of a naughty game, but it was kind of funny. Um, so this thing, da 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 da, um, I asked, what is that? And I actually don't know what it is, um, but I've got an idea what it might be. Um, so I said, what is that? And they said, I don't know, um, but you can have it for 10p if you want and you can go home and find out. And I said, okay then, 10p, it is a deal. So I've got this for 10p and yeah, what do you reckon it is? Now I think this potentially could be to screw onto a window sill to keep the window box in position. And that's what I might use it for anyway, because I thought it's kind of made out of, um, I think it's iron actually that's been painted. Um, but yeah, it's got the two circles. Um, but what do you reckon? Um, let me know in the comments down below. So this is the mystery item that was 10p, and um, I would love to know exactly what is this? Okay, I think that's everything that I bought. I'm just scanning around my living room, hoping that I haven't forgot to include anything in this haul. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is show you a few things that Kate gave to me. So after we went to the car boot sale, we went for a nice bit of lunch in Wimbledon Village, darling. And then we went back to Kate's dad's and had a right laugh with him. Um, he told me about, I think it was about 50 stories in the garden. We sat in the sunshine for a bit and I had about 50 stories and then we went inside and we got some um, little presents for each other that were things that we just picked up um, at charity shops and boot sales and whatnot. Um, so I'll just show you what Kate gave to me as well um, in case you haven't watched those vlogs. But if you do want to watch both of the car boot sale um, vlogs, I'll link both of our vlogs from the car boot sale day down below. Um, but the first thing that Kate gave to me was these um, travel mugs. Um, and they're by a brand called Thomas. I think they're made in Germany um, and they're really cool. Um, she picks out all these things that were green for me, um, which I thought was brilliant. So um, yeah, two of these mugs, they're kind of porcelain and yeah, Thomas and they're, oh, they're Ros Rosenthal, Rosenthal Group 
um, Germany. So two of these, which will be really nice um, just to uh, take a beverage in. And I'd use these around the home as well. I just think they're really, really cool. And she gave me these sticky notes that she picked up in Poundland that are really cool. They've got a uh, Mr. Cactus person on them and it says, see you at 6 p.m in case you've forgotten um, what time you're meeting your cactus friend. And she gave me this little um, plate stroke plate, actually. I think it's just a plate. I don't know what I should call it. Um, what would you call it? Ramekin or bowl? Small bowl, vessel, small vessel, ramekin, leaf. Um, yes, so that um, I really liked as well. And I thought that can go up here as well. We're getting a bit of a collection going on. Where should we pop it? next to the candle. And the last thing that she gave me, which made us laugh our heads off, was this. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, what's it called? It's making me laugh just thinking about it. It's called Forever Bright Aloe Vera Tooth Gel. And we were laughing because I said, what if this turns my teeth green? But no, I've, I've heard that this is meant to be really good. It's got no fluoride because fluoride's meant to be bad, isn't it? And it says with aloe vera and bee prop propolis, um, natural mint flavour forever. Um, I feel like I should try it now that I've mocked it. Oh look, it is like, <laughs> it is like a green gel. Should we just do a bit? Mmm. I'm just gonna go and, can we just... Oh, I tell you what, that is good. I feel very fresh now. Ah, right, um, yes. Um, so that is everything, I think everything let's have a quick rummage yes so that is everything so um adding up all of these items all together i've forgotten what the total is but i think it just came to just under 11 pounds it was 10 pounds something but i've forgotten what it was um yeah if i add it up i'll um put it down in the um comments down below um or if you've been watching and adding up as you go feel free um to let me know what it was i hope you enjoyed this car boot sale haul don't forget if you're new here to click subscribe i'm posting new videos every single week let me know in the comments down below which item was your favorite please let me know um what you think the mystery item is if you know what it is i would love to know and if you've got any ideas of things that i should do with these objects um, for around the home, any different uses for them that I might not have thought of already, I'd love to hear those as well. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to pop over to Kate's channel to check out her car boot sale haul from the same day, and I will link both of the car boot sale vlogs down below as well. If you want to have a look at us traipsing about, basically, <laughs> but we had a lot of fun as well um, in the process. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, I hope you're having a brilliant week, whatever you're up to, and I will see you soon. Bye! That off my hand. Don't want to see what I've been planning on doing today that I haven't got done. At least we're filming the video. Fellow YouTuber and bargain scroll lover Kate McCary gave me this toothpaste but gave my teeth all out. Piping. Pipe. Pipe. So loads of different uses for these. Obviously I could put paper in them to store paper for the printer. <gasps> Excuse me. So I asked um, the chap how much it was and I think he said he wanted two pounds for this. He might have even said three pounds. I think he said two and, no, maybe he said three. I can't ask. <laughs> Let me start again. Have I shown you the pumpkin? Yeah, we've done the pumpkin. Have we? Yes. This, <laughs> let's do that again.